28th of June 2020. We will start our city meditation. Keep our body upright. Close our eyes slightly. We need to relax our body and mind, not to have any tension. Be careful not to press down our hands on our legs. We must keep our body weight up, not to press down on the ground. Doing like this is intent to abandon the idea of we or mind in our practicing meditation. We should try to be mindful on the most evident things which is happening in our body and mind. Various awareness may happen one after another. Each of the awareness is necessary to be mindful with detachment. If we are not mindful, we cannot know the continuous appearing and disappearing of awareness. The power of Awareness, creation, recognition, and feeling, and energies of softness or hardness, tightness or looseness, hardness or coolness, movement or stillness are involving in the present appearing and disappearing truth. Each of the pleasant moments appearing and disappearing through is the combination of these four powers and eight energies. One power or one energy may be evident. We must be able to be mindful to this. The energy of softness or hardness, tightness or looseness, hardness or coolness, movement or stillness can be mindful in our breath. These are energies of original environment and nature, not awareness of the breath or awareness of movement are also not mine, but the power of original environment and nature or constant seizing pleasant momentary truth. If the feeling of like or dislike appear in our mind, we must be mindful and detach from this feeling. Actually, there is no I and not my feeling.
piece of the feeling is the power of original impermanent nature or truth. If we are not mindful, we cannot know the continuous appearing and disappearing process of feeling. And then misunderstanding of I feel like or I feel dislike will happen. We all cannot escape from original impermanent nature or truth. We cannot escape from the power and energies of original impermanent truth also. Our mind and body is nothing except original impermanent truth and its power and energies. That's why feeling is feeling only. There is no one who feels. Recognition is also recognition only. There is no one who recognizes. Awareness or consciousness is also just awareness or consciousness only. There is no one who knows. Action or creations are also action or creation only. There is no one who creates or who do. Desire is also just desire only, not something or not desire of someone. These powers are not the power of something or someone, but just the power of original impermanent truth. Hopeness or coolness is also just hopeness or coolness. It is not it is not something. It is not the hopeness or goodness of someone also. Subnet is also subnet only. Subnet is not something and subnet is not subnet of something or someone. The others, energies of hardness, tightness, looseness, movement, stainless, are also the same like this. Our habitual actions or attentions are concerned with only created cause and effect. If we cannot abandon this action or attention, we cannot understand the original impermanent truth and the power and energies of original impermanent truth. Most of us have strong attachment to the created truth or created cause and effect. 
That's why it is difficult to understand the original truth. There are strong attachment in us to know the created truth, to do the created gods, to experience the created effect, or to use the created truth. There may also be desire to know about the whole noble truth in us. To be fulfilled the desire to know about the original truth of whole noble truth, we must be able to abandon our desire concerned with created truth. To be free from misunderstanding and attachment, we must be mindful and detached from everything, especially from the food, from the time, from the place, from our experience, from our actions, and from ourselves. We must understand that all the created truths are to be mindful and detached, not to be misunderstood as something or someone and not to attach. Not to reject the created truth. We must, we must always remember the truth, to do only, to experience only, to know only, to use only. Not to attach the Creator to, we must be mindful and detached from each of the Creator to. This teaching is about the middle way. Middle way is doing all good deeds without attachment. Abstaining from all evil things without attachment. Keeping our mind to be pure and clean without attachment. If we are doing with attachment, it is not following the middle way. Doing nothing is also not following the middle way. Middle way is concerned with all doing or all action. Middle way is concerned with everyone, everywhere, and every time. Doing only and not doing only without attachment to the created cause and effect and without misunderstanding as reality is following the middle way. We cannot escape from the original impermanent truth. We should not find the truth of ourselves. We should try to find out the original truth and the truth of creative cause and effect.
Although we cannot escape from the original impermanent truth, we can we can try to find out the original impermanent truth. To find out the original impermanent truth, we must be able to detach from ourselves and we must try to be using only without attachment. Knowing the original impermanent truth is the key to know the original permanent truth of Nirvana. Let's share our merits. May all merits we have done day now be dedicated to all sentient beings. May all beings rejoice and share in our merits.